Hey everyone, my name is Sean Bowen. Today, we will be exploring the uses of quizzes in the classroom. Quizzes is a digital tool that can be used with a variety of purposes. Specifically, we will be looking at the features centered around assessments. Now, let's go ahead and jump in. Now we are ready to get started with quizzes. The first feature I would like to show you is how to use quizzes to locate other assessments that have already been produced. Because you may just be starting out, it might be a good idea to start here. That way you are able to find resources that have already been made. So whenever you have logged in, you've made a teacher account, you can see I'm logged in right here. You're going to come across this and you're able to search anything that you need to. Um, just as a generalization, we can search something like fractions into this menu. Want to populate a list of fraction quizzes. You have filters up here, which will help you identify what grade level, what subject. Now this is going to work, but I like to be a little bit more specific when it so instead of just searching fractions, what I'll usually do is either search the South Carolina standard that I'm looking for, or if there is a matching common core standard, I'll search for that instead. So for this example, I know that I'm working on fractions in my classroom, so I could search 4.NSF to represent the South Carolina version, but I know that there's a common core one that matches and I'm likely going to get more results using that. So instead, I'm just going to type 4.nf. Once I look that up, you can see that there are quizzes specifically tailored to this standard. So if my kids are working on this and I need to use it as a checkup, I simply search the standard, assign it to them, and I'm able to assess where exactly they are with their mastery of whatever standard we're working on in class. As you can see, there's one for 4 NSF 6 and 7, 4 NSF 5. There's a lesson produce, which my friend Lauren will show you more about those if you want to go check her video out. And then I have some other quizzes that just show other ways to assess your kids with fractions. Now, along with finding quizzes that have already been produced, you're able to make your own using whatever standards you need to use in quizzes. When you are logged in on the homepage, just like I am here, you will click the create button on the left, and then you can click on quiz. The process of making the quiz is very self-explanatory and quizzes does an excellent job at walking you through the steps. Um, so right here, you would give it a name, just like I suggested earlier with giving your quiz the standard name, putting the standard into that name, I would suggest you do the same thing here. So I could do something like 4.nsf.5 quiz or something like that. I'll select my subjects, which will be math. And then I'm going to be posed with a few options here. I can make my questions multiple choice. I can ask them to be check boxes, which means there are multiple answers that need to be chosen a fill in the blank, a poll, an open-ended question, and then slides. More commonly, we're going to use multiple choice for quizzes, but any of these options will do depending on what your needs are. For mine, I'm just going to click on question. For this question, I'll just ask something like, what is 44 over 100 plus 2 over 10? Um, the fourth grade standard has kids adding and subtracting fractions with denominators of 10 to 100. So I'm just going to go with that. And then for my answer options, you can put as many as you would like. Four is the standard, but if you want to add more or less, you can. I will put a incorrect answer for the first one. Let's go with 46 over 100. This one, I'll do the correct one. That would be 64 over 100. And then let's do 46 over 110. And then let's go with 42 over 100. 
You'll notice next to them, there are different things you can add. You can change the fonts. You can add photos. You could have even added a photo to your original question. So as you can see, there are a lot of different ways that you can build and add things to quizzes. You need to select your answer choice. Mine would have been that option. And then you can just continue producing this quiz until you are ready to be done. And then you may click the done button like what you see up there. Quizzes has many important features that are really beneficial to teachers in their classrooms with collecting data. And these are just a few of my favorites. So again, that is how you can use quizzes to engage your students, drive future instruction, and help you make on-the-fly decisions with your class through formative assessment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other resources.